Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I want to talk to you about something very, very simple that everybody does that's very basic, and that is meeting and greeting a customer. Let me tell you what I don't like about traditional meet and greets that have been taught for 50 years in dealership training. First of all, we generally walk out and we say, hi folks, uh, welcome to our dealership, my name's Mark and your name is, or hi folks, can I help you, or what I call the Texas greeting, can I help you? But what I do is different. What I want to do is be dramatically different than any other dealership and salesperson. I want to be a category of one. It's more competitive. You have to stand out dramatically from anybody else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take what the customer usually says back to you and flip it around. Example, when you greet a customer in the manner I just mentioned, the customer usually looks at you 98% of the time gives you a limp-wristed handshake, they avert your eyes, and they shake in their boots and they say something like, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping, but if you give me your card, I'll come get you if I need you. They're trying to protect themselves. And what I found is, in body language, there are about three different zones. You have a personal zone, which is about arm's length, and you have a social zone, which is about three to five feet, which is more comfortable. And then beyond that is a public zone, that's in personal space. What I want to do is, um, utilizing what Zig Ziglar said, he said, give yourself a checkup from the neck up, and what I call it is, put a little slide in your glide, and a little pep in your step. That is, when you greet a customer, they do not care that you haven't sold a car in a week. They do not care that you have had a fight with your spouse, or boyfriend, or girlfriend. They do not care that you've got bills to pay. They don't care. They tune into one channel only, W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me. And what you got to do is catch them in the first two seconds, first 15 seconds to be different and to pull them into you just a little bit. And I'm going to do that by uh, putting that slide in my glide and a pep in my step. I'm going to say the word showtime. When I say showtime, it puts a smile on my face and it reminds me that the customer is there and I got to be ready. So when I walk up, I greet them quicker with my words, my eyes, my phrases, my body language, and I say their words first. Example, hi folks, welcome to our dealership. My name's Mark. Are you out beginning to look and shop around a little bit today? How you doing, sir? You out doing a little looking, a little shopping today? Do you notice that when I say that, I'm taking their phrase and using it first proactively. I'm telling them it's okay to look and shop, making them comfortable. But think about it. What is a customer going to do? Are they going to look at you and go, no, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping? You took it away from them, but you did it in a nice manner. And they're going to probably look at you and say, yes, I'm just starting to look. And you could say, well, great. Have you looked at our internet specials? See, you want to know if they've been looking on the internet because everybody is today. So it's a way to begin conversation. Now I say, fantastic. And I take a step back. Why? Provide space. You will pull them towards you by making them comfortable. When I take a step back in an open stance, smile on my face, I just ask the customer, if you can tell me what you're looking for, what models, makes, and all the particulars, I can point and guide you towards those and even share with you what we have on sale in those lines. Fair enough? Now, I believe in using the word sell because the customers like a sell. If you like value or special, fantastic. But I'm creating urgency from the meet and greet where I'm saying if you can give me an idea what you're looking for, I can point and guide you and even share with you what we have on sale. Fair enough? That's the tag I use at the end. Fair enough and nod my head. What are they going to do? Look at you and say, no, I don't want to see what's on sale. I don't want to see the specials. I don't want to get a good deal. Of course not. Now you're pulling them into you in a nice way. I ask them questions, open-ended questions that we normally ask. And then on top of that, once they are making eye contact, once they're moving towards me, which they will, once they're smiling, once they're asking me questions, I'm going to look at them and I'm going to use a little technique called reciprocation and obligation. It's one of the strongest pulls of selling and that is I'm going to tell them I'm sorry. I like to tell every customer I meet I'm sorry in the first five minutes. Why? It makes me a human being. It makes me a person, not a salesperson. So I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. My name is Mark, and I don't think I even got your name. 
I didn't mean to be rude. I'm very sorry. My name's Mark and your name is? Now I will exchange names and handshakes. Why? I found that most salespeople that when they get the name with the handshake at the very beginning of the meet and greet that they never, almost never, remember the name. The one thing that you will get from a customer and should get in the first very beginning is that you're going to have their name that will break down a barrier, create a relationship and be able to bond you with them. If now that I get and remember the name by waiting and using reciprocation and obligation I'll be able to create that bond through their name. And another small technique, when you say somebody's name, mark, pause. When you pause after saying somebody's name, the most favorite word in any language is going to be that person's name. They'll hear their name and when you pause, they're going to lockstep into your face and pay attention to what you're saying. These techniques can dramatically change your meet and greet and your ability to sell today. With the simplest thing that we do every single day, I don't care whether you've been selling for two days or 20 years. Try this today and watch how the reaction of your people skills built in with technical sales skills makes a huge difference for you. I'm Mark Tuart with Tuart Enterprises. If you'd like more information, you can call us at 888-2-TUART or you can go to our websites at tuart.com or tuartvideo.com. That's T-E-W-A-R-T. Thanks a lot and great selling.